Colorado potato beetle is a major pest of potatoes. Without intervention, they can wipe out your entire harvest by totally defoliating the plants. The adults emerge as soon as the plants begin to grow. In Michigan, that would be in May. After mating, the females will start laying eggs within seven to 10 days. The eggs are deposited in clusters of 20 to 35. They are a bright orange and usually found on the undersides of the leaves. Each female can lay between 400 and 600 eggs. Depending on the weather, the eggs will hatch within four to 10 days, and immediately the larva will start consuming the leaves. A key point to remember is that the plants can withstand up to 25% defoliation before the crop yield is affected. So what can we do? First, let's look at the non-chemical options. First, you can brush the adults off into a can of soapy water before they have a chance to start laying eggs. You'll need to do this daily as long as you see adults. Two, search for and crush the orange egg clusters in May and June. In Michigan, there is a spring and a summer generation, so keep at it. Let's briefly discuss chemical controls. Colorado potato beetle is notorious for developing a resistance to a wide variety of insecticides. Two organic pesticides that the beetles are not resistant to include one, azadaractin, which is the active ingredient in all neem-based insecticides, and spinosad, which is a natural substance produced by bacteria whose name I will put on the screen instead of trying to pronounce it. I think you pronounce it Sacharo polyspora spinosa. Wow. Who named that? Now, spinosad is effective for about 10 to 14 days. Neem, a few days less. But both of these products work best when you're applying them while the larvae are still small. Well, this is my quick and dirty version on the subject. I hope it's been helpful and let me know what you think. So this is Gary, I'm out. I dropped the mic, but I don't have one. See you.